Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A concealed attacker assaults Stefan, and an unexpected return impedes Sanders' arrangement with Kristen. As Kristen savors Espresso the Square, she calls a moping Xander to make it happen. After he hangs up, Justin defies Xander about giving Titan to the Demoros. Xander makes sense of he is exchanging Kristen the organization for a serum that will empower Sarah to walk in the future. Justin becomes thoughtful yet has concerns. Xander announces Victor gave Titan to him to do as he picks and there's nothing anybody can say to adjust his perspective. Sarah enters in her wheelchair. Perhaps there is. A self-satisfied EJ meets Fiona in the cross-examination room and presents her with an arrangement. Assuming she confesses to endeavored vehicular homicide, he'll suggest that she serve 10 years in jail. It's the best arrangement she'll get. She declines. Taking into account she admitted, EJ cautions in the event that he takes it to preliminary, she'll probably kick the bucket alone in a Statesville cell. She sneers. I never admitted to anything. Melinda comes to the D. Mara house with Stefan's legal documents. She guarantees him it's similarly as they examined, he'll keep the house, the bistro, and ventures, while Gabby will hold sole responsibility for stylish and get a liberal monetary repayment. Agonizing, he says it sounds fine. She gives him a pen, however he wavers. At the point when she squeezes him to sign, he offers a vile comment about her needing her shot with him. She tears the pen from his hand and indignantly instructs him to do anything he desires, her billable hours are something very similar. Melinda holds out a pen to a melancholy Stefan at the Demera Manor. As Melinda stomps out, she runs into Kristen outside. Subsequent to cautioning her about Stefan's foul state of mind, she gives Kristen the paper she drew up, guaranteeing her shin and the board are exceptionally satisfied. Kristen clucks that once Sander gives up Titan, Demera undertakings will be relentless. At the Hernandez house, Rafe tells Gabby their Tia Hilda passed on and left him something in her will. Regardless of moving away from that side of the family, Gabby's not astounded since he was dependably their auntie's number one. He opens a crate to their auntie's wedding band. In a note, Hilda communicates her expectation that the ring presents to Rafe the sort of enduring friendship she imparted to his uncle. Gabby says Rafe resembled the child she won't ever have. Rafe takes note of that is miserable on the grounds that she has a child. Definitely, however Rafe and Tia Hilda resembled close friends who had confidence in genuine affection. Gabby thought she at last tracked down her genuine affection in Stefan, yet at the same currently it's finished. As Fiona demands to EJ she has no memory of admitting, Melinda, enters. She demands her client is blameless and requests Fiona's delivery. EJ reminds Melinda that even without Fiona's admission, he has two onlookers. Melinda reminds him Sarah is a problematic observer and Brady is a junkie who was so inebriated he once accepted he was driving the vehicle that hit Sarah. She cautions she will destroy him and recommends he set Fiona free at this point. Fiona grins. Justin leaves the Kiriaki's lounge as Sarah tells Xander it's an error to give Kristen Titan. Xander couldn't live with himself assuming he picked a realm over aiding her. Sarah concedes she's battled with her loss of motion, yet she can in any case carry on with a full, lively life. She won't allow him to give up his or Victoria's inheritance to Kristen. Xander says Victoria's inheritance is her, solid and cheerful. He owes Victor nothing, however he owes Sarah everything. Her desires make a difference to him, however his brain is made up. Kristen hangs over the Demera Manor work area toward an agonizing Stefan. At the Demeros, Kristen expects Stefan's horrible state of mind is about his looming divorce. Sad, he says the settlement is fair, yet he doesn't know he needs a separation. He loved constantly Gabby. Kristen exhorts in the event that he's not 100% sure about it, then he ought to destroy the legal documents and get his significant other back. At the Hernandez house, Gabby confesses to Rafe that she assumed she was prepared to end her marriage, however she doesn't know whether both of them truly needs to. Rafe encourages her to give herself time, escape her head, and pay attention to her heart. Then, at that point, she'll know what to do. 
At the point when Rafe leaves for active recuperation, Gabby streaks back to rejoining with Stefan subsequent to escaping jail. Stefan has similar recollections at the chateau. You know what, Melinda, he says out loud. Screw your damn papers. Kristen dances into the Demera house. Sarah tears into her prior to abandoning her with Sander. Alone in the cross-examination room, EJ cautions Melinda that she'll pay for this. For what, she inquires. Being a preferable legal counselor over you are? She won't stress over his messages of revenge since he'll be too in the middle of clarifying for city hall leader cost how he let another case get past him. In the square, Sarah's eyes swell after seeing Fiona tasting a martini. What are you doing out of prison? Fiona happily answers, your mother by marriage is a liberated person. At the Hernandez house, Gabby hears a thump at the entryway. Confident that it's Stefan, she opens the entryway, and her face falls. Wow! At the Demera house, Stefan lets Stefano's picture know that he isn't abandoning his union with Gabby. I will battle for the lady that I love. Out of nowhere, a covered man hops him from behind. He places Stefan in a stranglehold until he drops. At the Kiriaki's manor, Kristen gives Sander one vial of the serum, however Sarah will require a second one for it to work. They'll get it when Xander's portions of Titan are effectively moved to her. As Xander is going to sign, Justin returns. Somebody has recorded an order disallowing the exchange of Xander's stock to her. As they wonder who it very well may be, Philip, played by John Paul Lavoisier, walks around. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Monday, October 28th, uncover that Sarah Kiriakis will rage now that she's found Fiona Cook drinking in the town square. Fiona is a liberated person since Melinda Trask got E.J. DiMera to drop the charges, so Sarah will place her mother by marriage on maxing out. In the meantime, Xander Kiriakis will tear into Philip Kiriakis for documenting an order to impede his Titan stock exchange. Since Xander was attempting to figure out an agreement with Kristen DiMera for the loss of motion fix, he'll erupt over Philip's most recent information. Notwithstanding, Philip will believe he's doing what Victor Kiriakis would need since he detests Titan being given over to the Demeros. Day's fans can anticipate that Philip should boast over his most recent win, however Xander will make a forecast about retaliating. With respect to Kristen, she'll attempt to gain some headway with regards to getting Brady Dark get used to her. Tragically, Brady may not endorse the bans Kristen is taking Sarah and Xander leap through in regards to Dr. Wilhelm Rolf's serum. Different days spoilers say Gabby Hernandez de Mera will have an astounding gathering now that she's made her way for somebody natural. Al Calderon will make his introduction as Javi on Monday's DOL episode, so Gabby will find her cousin. Obviously, Gabby will give her sympathies since Javi is apparently the child of Tia Hilda, who as of late died from malignant growth. Ray Fernandez will likewise have an open door to reconnect with Javi, so remain tuned for refreshes on all the family holding. At long last, Monday's show will check Brandon Barish's last air date as Stefan DiMera. Stefan was recently trapped and medicated, so he was oblivious when Day's Watchers last saw him.